Hey guys, what's going on? This is Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mod Tools tutorial series. So, guys, in this video, we'll be adding in a reflection probe to this entire room. Now, reflection probes effectively are, well, as it really says, it handles reflections and also basically makes your light go around the room as you'd actually want it to. Uh, without them, your lighting will not look how it should do. So, you definitely want to have one in every area. Um, I purposely built this room into a non-square, so it's got a bit of like you know, a sh angled sort of shaped roof. Um, that's purely because of one of the techniques I need to be showing. Um, if your room is square, then it's just a little bit easier, but it's still everything's roughly the same sort of concept. So um, it is quite a fast video, so let's get straight into it. So what you need to do is go over to your entity browser. You can right click on the top here and go down to entity browser. Where is there? Now you need to be searching for REF, so reflection, reflection probe. Now what you can do is just good practice really, you can either drag and drop this into the map or you can right click and toggle favorite. Now I have my favorites here, I already have reflection probe in my favorites because it's something I use a lot and if you have, if you toggle favorite it means that when you're in your 2D, so 3D view, you can right click and it'll be at the very bottom here. So I'm going to use it this way. I've added it to my favorites. So over here, you'll see you have this box. Now you might notice this from when we first created the map files, we had this, but we deleted it, this black um, sphere. And all we're going to do is we will put it right to the very center of the map, like so. I'm going to put it into the center as much as possible to. Um, put it about there, just because you might have some you know, models underneath it. I'm going to just drag Okay, to hit all the walls. So all you're, all you're gonna do is drag it until you hit the walls. Now if it's flush with the wall, you'll see it has a bit of a flickering sort of effect. You want to get that all over it, okay? So just drag it to fill up the entire room. Now you'll notice, how do we do the ceiling? Because we can't do this because then it comes out of the roof and that will, it doesn't go very well that. What we need to do now is make this into a non-box. So if your room has a flat roof, or typically if it's outside as well, um, you can leave it as this. If you do have a room like this though, so you, know, you can just leave it like that and it will be, basically this room is now covered, okay? If you had a flat roof. Because we don't, we need to do something called a non-box probe. So over here in our entity info, we can deselect true. So we can say it's not a box. Now what that does is it enables us to be quite sort of quite advanced now so what we're going to do we're going to do alt and left click and we're basically just going to click on all the walls so alt and left click on every single surface you can see over here it's filling it all up it's starting to make a sphere a sphere sorry a, a cube now we've got a cube now we're going to do the floor okay so it knows we've got a cube but now it doesn't know what the top part is so we're going to do that it thinks it's completely tilted but it isn't we know it isn't so we're going to do the other one and now because we've now got every single face, it doesn't have to be faces in terms of individual brushes, but every single plane we have now selected, it's done. So this reflection probe has now gone from a box to a, well, a non-box, and has now been done by doing alt and left clicking every single surface to fill up the entire room. And that's how to do that. So in the next video we're going to be going over basic lighting which is kind of hand in hand really with this um i had to do this first though because if i did the lighting before this the lighting wouldn't look how it should do but this is effectively all you need to be doing um what you can do as well is you'll notice over here the reflection probe doesn't quite meet the glass so at areas where it kind of you know it needs to be extended slightly but we don't want to be doing this because that now would be sorry over the side it is because it'll be outside the wall, it's not touching the wall anymore. What you can do is you notice it has two lines. So we have almost like an inner box and an outer box. If we do control and shift and drag, we can drag the outer box. Now for anything that goes outside of these walls like such, we can just do this to these. And that now covers that. So now you can see if we go outside of it, it's, it's still flush with the wall, but it also recognizes that there's something outside of this. And it just slightly continues just to cover a bit more of that wall. So, of course, you know, if you don't want to, want to do that, maybe you can do the reflection from the other side, and then, you know, you can make them join together quite nicely, uh, if that makes sense. So anything like windows, you, you want to be doing stuff like that too, um, and it'll all reflect around the room quite nicely. So, 
as I said, in the next video, we're going over basic lighting, so I'll end this one here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll answer anything there. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.